Um, next thing we want to talk about is the align functions. Um, align on this console is basically a fanning option. So it's going to allow you to spread values of whatever fixtures you have selected in the order you have them selected. Um, because remember, we have se selection order on here. So um, when I'm selecting lights, it remembers the order I selected them in. It also remembers the order I had selected them when I store a group. So that's why we want to make sure we go in order because um, that order is going to be applied to the align stuff and then effects, which we're going to talk about later. So there's four different methods or modes for align. Uh, let's go ahead and click on the position tab right here just to get back to our, our normal encoder layout here. And beside the delay button that we were talking about yesterday, to the right, we see this align off. So default align is turned off. And there's four different um, align modes on the console that we can turn on. Um, we have the first one. If we click it one time, we see align with an arrow to the left. Um, and this is going to be aligned from the first fixture selected mode. So it's going to start the fan or the alignment from the first fixture selected. So if I had selected 501 through 511, it would start at 501 and proceed through the numbers uh, chronologically or numerically. Okay, if I hit align again, it goes to the arrow to the right, and this is going to be aligned from the last fixture selected. So in that Example, 501 through 511. If I was in this mode, it would actually start the um, alignment from 511, because that's the last fixture I selected. Click it again, I have the arrows pointing into each other. This is aligned from center of the selection. So in our example, 501 through 511, it would apply the, it would start the fan and it would go out from center each direction uh, from the center of the selection. So that would be what, 506? six or seven, um, it would start there in the middle and then go out towards the ends of 501 and 511 in both directions. So we're aligning from center. Last one, if I click it, arrows pointing away from each other is the opposite. It's aligned from the outside of the selection. So it would start at 501 and 511 and move towards the center, okay? So let's look at that real quick. I'm actually gonna select different lights than what the PDF says uh, because I like to have more lights. So we're actually gonna select, um, instead of 503 through 506, we're gonna select 507 through 511 to get five lights. Turn those on at full. Um, Um, so we're just going to tilt these lights to downstage edge. So under the tilt encoder, just drag to the left. All right, so up here, let's turn align mode on. You'll notice it's back to align off, even though I didn't turn it off. Um, that's because anytime I make a new selection or change what uh, encoder attributes I'm dealing with, um, it turns itself back off. So I have to turn this on every time for every single different attribute I'm trying to manipulate and every set of lights I'm trying to manipulate. Um, so just make sure you already have the lights selected that you want and that you're in the correct um, encoder tab before you turn a line on because otherwise you're going to do it again later once you change or make a selection. All right, so let's go ahead and click it until it says align to the um, arrow to the left, which is a line from the first fixture. So if I start panning this, what should happen is fixture 507 over here on the left, stage right, um, that's the first fixture selected. So it's gonna apply this uh, alignment and space these out and fan them out from 507 through to 511. So let's grab our pan encoder. We're in fine mode, hold it down and then start moving it and you'll see 507 stays where it is, and it starts to fan these out from, from there through 511 in either direction that I track. Okay. We bring them back here into the middle ish and um, go to the next uh, align. So click it again until the arrow is pointing to the right. 
this would be fan from the last fixture selection. So it's going to be from the opposite side this time, 511. And it's going to go back the other way. Okay. Click it again so that the arrows are pointing into each other. And now we're, we're aligning from the center of the selection. So it should be aligning from 509 here and going either direction. So if now if I turn pan, you can see that I'm aligning from center. Last one is gonna be aligning from the um, outside of the selection. So now if I do it, 507 and 511 should kind of stay put-ish um, and then apply it towards the center. So, yes. And that one doesn't really work well with five fixtures. It's hard to see, but we can see it is actually doing that. Um, since we have five fixtures, it's a little bit wonky, but if you had more than that, you'd be able to see it very clearly. Okay. So those are the different alignments, we can, alignment modes we can use. And you can do that for any values. Um, say I wanted to do that on color and I'll align towards the center and I start mixing my red. Oh, it turned off, see, because I changed the tab. So uh, let's turn that back, turn a line on towards center and then start moving, adjusting red. And you can see how it's, it's actually aligning from one way or the other to turning a sign in. So I could use it with color mixing as well. I change it to green here. I can align that as well. It turned off. I turn it back on and I align blue as well. And you can see you can do some cool color combinations using a line as well. So you can apply that to any, any attribute. Some it works well with, some it doesn't work, does not work well with. So that's the alignment functions.